What is up, guys? Welcome back to another live today in the OU tier. We have a uh, team centered around Mega Metacham. You've probably seen a few thumbnails in your sub boxes uh, with Mega Metacham in it, but it is back into the OU ladder, and uh, I built a super hyper offensive team around it. Uh, let's see how it does. I've tested it out a little bit on the ladder. It's kind of uh, a hit or a miss, uh, depending on the matchup, but um, oh, this isn't a bad matchup at all. All of his mons are grounded. It's going to be nice for webs. I have a choice scarf, sticky web Galvantula on this team. Uh, so that's quite interesting. He does have fake out pressure with um, with Metacham, which I do not appreciate at all. And uh, yeah, how do we stop that? We don't. <laughs> we just we just don't. Uh, we lead off with Galvantula. He leads off with Metacham. Uh, that is fine. I will go for the Sticky Webs turn one. He's probably going to fake out. Uh, there's the fake out right there. That does seem to be adamant damage. I'm just going to go for the webs. He might be pressured to switch out into something like Garchomp or... Uh, something that can take an electric attack, but no, he stays in just to ice punch. That's fine. My webs are now up. He has no hazard removal, uh, so this is looking mighty fine. Uh, I am just going to go into... Life Orb Thunder should be able to knock this out, right? It has. It's really frail. Um, almost as frail as Kartana. Uh, maybe not as much. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go Thunderous. Uh, let's go for the Thunderbolt right here. As uh, his switch in should be Garchomp in theory or Mamoswine. Uh, but I do have the superpower on this set. I am the Defiant set. Uh, I take advantage of uh, Defog because it's the most common hazard removal on the ladder right now. And uh, Excadrill, unless it's Air Balloon, gets affected by Sticky Web. So my opponent uh, decides to peace out for a second here. <laughs> I'm just going to pause it until he comes back, guys. We'll be back. Well, he never came back. Uh, I guess the Sticky Webs were just too much for him. So, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, let's move on to the next game. I'm sitting at 1662. I think that's just at the bottom of the ladder. Uh, we're going to check that right away. Gen 7 OU, 1662. I know that Jose... Oh, it's not at the bottom. Where is it? 1662. I'm 387. Okay, I know Jose's like in the 1700s now. Lolan Jose. He's somewhere in here. Anyway, um, we do see a squad with... A, oh, God. We got a Snorlax and a Suicune. I mean, neither of those really take on Mega Metacham too well. Again, I really want to prioritize getting up webs, but he does have a decent spinner in Excadrill and a uh, potential Defogger in Salamence, even though that's probably not what it is. Uh, either way, I think I'm going to lead off here with... Uh, I think I'm going to actually lead Lando against his Metacham. And uh, I'm going to switch out into Greninja, expecting the Ice Punch, and then I'm going to U-turn out. Um, and then whatever he goes for, I can switch accordingly. I mean, I don't have great high jump kick switch-ins, but <clears throat> we'll deal. He does Mega Evolve. He, did, he does go for the Fake Out. Okay. That is fine. I am going to U-turn out here, as he does stay in on a, on a potential Specs Hydro Pump. Risky play, but I am going to go into Thunderous right now. Uh, as he does go for the high jump kick, it's going to do 53%. And uh, I can just fire off a knockoff here if I want to, if I want to expect Drill to come in, or Snorlax. Uh, but I could play it safe as well. No, I'm going to go for knockoff. He's going to go straight into his Excadrill. He's going to lose whatever his item is to my knockoff. And it's going to be leftovers. Fantastic. Let's go for the superpower here. And uh, hopefully he doesn't switch back out into his Metacham. He does not. He lets his Excadrill go down. Fantastic. Uh, now we have to deal with fake out pressure again. But... He no longer has his webs, uh, his, uh, his hazard removal, excuse me. Does go into Greninja. <clears throat> okay. Well, I don't have a counterplay to this. Uh, that's kind of the way that offense works. He does get off the Water Shuriken. Now, the way that I beat my Galvantula is to take a, uh, Specs Water Shuriken, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, let me calc this up. Uh, Galvantula. So that I don't die to Greninja Specs, uh, Water Shuriken. 105 max, and I have how much HP? I'm at 281. How much is Fidef? I hit 168. So I have this much. Yeah, it does 99.2 max. So as long as he doesn't crit me, uh, I live it no matter what. Now, I could just go for the Volt Switch here, uh, but I don't think I'm going to get a better chance to set up my webs, and my webs are going to be really, really useful this game. Uh, then again, I don't have a great counterplay to his Greninja. Uh, but it's locked into Water Shuriken, which Kartana should be able to take, even Metacham. So I'm going to go for webs. He is going to... Oh, he's not locked in. Okay. So he's not Specs. We know that much. Uh, which is a good thing, because that means I believe that Metacham can take any hit. Uh, and we can just fire off a high jump kick. And, uh, yeah. He doesn't have a great switching. He is going to go for Surf. He's going to crit me. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> Let's just go into Gren. Uh, and we... 
Uh, guaranteed to hit KO. Yeah. Great calc, thanks. Uh, I'm gonna go for the U-turn right here as he is as well. He wins the, uh, well, it's not a speed tie in this case. Uh, let's see what he goes into. His Greninja is now slower than everything, so... Goes into his Lax. I'm gonna get off the U-turn. I'm gonna go out, straight out into my Kartana right here. And I am going to get off a Swords Dance on this turn. And, uh, if I get an attack boost, I think that's pretty much game. He is going to go into Salamence. It, however, it is not Intimidate. And I can go for the Smart Strike right here. Uh, which I think I am going to do. Let's go for the Smart Strike. And we do knock out the Mence. And that should be game. As long as he doesn't crit me with Greninja. He's going to go into Metacham. He's going to go for a, uh, for a Fake Out. But it's not going to do too much damage. I'm just going to go for a uh, Leaf Blade. That does very little. And uh, we can just go for the Leaf Blade here. And if he doesn't conserve this, then that's a bad time for him. Because <laughs> he needs to get off a few more hits before he can kill me with Gren Greninja. Uh, we saw the Calc just a second ago. It does 72 max. So he has to lose two more Mons, which is awesome. Uh, and I will go for the Leaf Blade again. He does go for the Fake Out once again. I'm gonna go for another fake, uh, another Leaf Blade, and uh, I think on the next Fake Out, I'm actually gonna switch out because I want to keep my Kartana around for his Greninja, as I do not have anything that outspeeds it now, <laughs> and uh, Water Shuriken destroys everything else, so I need to keep this. Uh, he does 72 max, so we should be good. Um, in comes the Suicune on a Leaf Blade. This is dead. Goodbye. And uh, Metacham is going to come back in, except I'm going to switch out this time because I cannot have this thing beating me. So I'm going to switch into Lando as he is probably going to go for the fake out once again. We do outspeed this thing now, though, and uh, I can just go for an Earthquake right here, knock out his Mega Metacham, and I am out of range of Water Shuriken. So uh, not with this, obviously. This is going to die, but uh, my Kartana should live. No problem. And the decal specs. No, he didn't. Okay, good. So, we just go for the Leaf Blade. Water Shuriken, as long as he doesn't crit me, I should live. And he does not crit me, and that is the end of the game. Goodbye, Greninja, and GG to my opponent. There we go. Alright, so, uh, that's a, another win. The first one was a win because of a forfeit, or, uh, he DC'd. Alright, this is gonna be a little bit of a tougher team. Um, I don't see a way that I can break through it with any specific Mon... Well, maybe Greninja. Greninja can actually put in a lot of work here. Specs Hydro Pump can knock out almost everything, except for Muck. That's the only thing. All right, so we are going to lead with Lando uh, against his Garchomp, actually. So he's going to allow me to get up rocks, which is fantastic, uh, as that is exactly what I'm going to do. And now I can go for the Swords Dance, as the worst thing he can do to me is uh, either Fire Blast or Dragon Tail. And he does take a Life Orb hit there. I'm going to go for the Earthquake. He does go for Draco Meteor. That's okay. He knocks me out. Uh, now his special attack is dropped. I am going to go straight into Galvantula. And I'm going to get up my webs because, once again, he has no hazard removal outside of Kartana. He's going to go for the Earthquake. It's not going to knock me out. Uh, and I'm thinking he's going to go for another special attack right here. No, he goes for Earthquake. Okay. I could have switched into Thunderous, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to go into Thunderous right here. And we are just going to go for the Hidden Power Ice. And knock out his Garchomp. And uh, Greninja should be able to win from here as long as I damage the Muck. That's all I need to do is damage the Muck. And he's going to let me damage the Muck right here. Which is fantastic. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. It's going to do 30%. And uh, he's going to go for the knockoff. That is going to knock us out. However, uh, as long as he's not carrying a fire move, I should be good to set up a Swords Dance right here. As uh, he does go for a knockoff. That's not going to knock off an item, thankfully. And we are just going to go for the... Smart Strike, as he goes through the Shadow Sneak, I don't think my opponent realizes that this is about to clean sweep him. Uh, he goes into a Celesteela, but I have all out pummeling. As he does go for Protect, so great play, but I think this is still going to do a ton of damage, even through the Protect. I get a crit, so yeah, um, the Secret Sword is <laughs> the Secret Sword is now going to kill, and uh, I think I kill the remaining the remainder of his team. In comes Kartana, it is under webs, unless it's Scarfed, it's not speed tying me. Goodbye. And that should be the game. So, a little bit of a lucky crit. GG, I guess. Uh, we'll keep going. What are we at? 950, three wins. Not bad. Let's try to get nine wins, guys. That's how fast this team plays. It's, it's really, really quick. 
I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. <laughs> it's, it's something I really just whipped up really fast. Okay, so now we got a little more of a, a cohesive team. Not everything is on the ground either because he has the, uh, the Lando potential of Scarfed. Uh, not Scarf, but uh, Air Balloon Drill once again. So uh, I am just going to lead Galvantula as he is going to lead with his Excadrill. So great lead on his part. Uh, I am just going to... I think switch out into Landorus is fine. Because uh, he's probably going to get up his rocks. This is probably his rock setter. Uh, so now he goes for Earthquake straight away. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to get up... Uh, actually, I'm going to go for Swords Dance. He goes for Toxic. That's fine. Uh, we are going to go for an Earthquake. And uh, knock this thing down to its Sash, hopefully. Uh, as he goes for Iron Head. He is faster than us. He does not flinch me, thankfully. Uh, he was shook a berry, but he died. <laughs> All right. Cool. So Greninja is going to come in. Once again, I don't have a counterplay to this. This is the reason I have Scarf Galvantula on this team, guys. Uh, is mainly for this thing. I'm going to go for the Earthquake. He's going to go for the Dark Pulse. And if he is locked into Dark Pulse, that's great. Because I get to go into Galv and just fire off a... Huh. Fire off a what? <laughs> that is the question. Um, Do I go for the Volt Switch? Because he's probably thinking, okay, well, I can flinch him. But if I'm Sashed and he doesn't flinch me, then he loses his Greninja, right? So I'm going to get set up webs. He does choose to stay in and Dark Pulse me and knock me out. Uh, good news is the Dark Pulse can't really do anything to Greninja, and he has no hazard removal. So we're going to go for the U-turn as he goes for Dark Pulse again, and he does not flinch me. And uh, I don't know why he's not fearing anything. Um, Thunderous, I guess. He's really not fearful of anything right now. I'm going to go for the T-Bolt. Uh, he just goes for another Dark Pulse. He knocks me straight out. Wow, okay. I guess nothing can take this. Um, I should have Volt Switched. He's going to switch out into his Lando. Okay, so this is good. He actually gave me a chance to win now. Because now with this plus this, the Lando is gone. I took some Rocky Helmet damage, but that's okay. Uh, and I do still have my Specs Greninja on deck. He has a Tangrowth, so I'm going to have to be careful of that. Uh, I'm actually going to switch out into Greninja here, I think. Then bring back in my Metacham and sub up. I'm carrying sub on this set, as you guys can see. So I'm going to switch into Gren right here. He's going to go for Swords Dance. Uh, I'm going to go for Water Shuriken. Uh, weaken this thing because I can't straight up attack it. He's going to go for Sucker Punch. It's not going to do anything, obviously. We're going to go for Water Shuriken again. And uh, that should knock him down pretty low as he goes for the Thunder Punch. Very good. And now we can go into Metacham and sub up on his Sucker Punch. That's what I'm feeling. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Get the sub off. And now we are just going to go for the High Jump Kick. On his following Sucker Punch. We're going to knock this thing out. And uh, the problem is that Gren can still Water Shuriken. Uh, but as we saw before, there's a chance that Kartana will not die to this. So, uh, just going to go for the uh, High Jump Kick right here. Kartana might be able to live. Um, yeah, let's go for the Leaf Blade. Goes for the Specs Water Shuriken. And he does not kill me. But I don't think I'm going to be able to knock out the, uh, the Tangrowth in any universe. <laughs> We'll try to get a crit's uh, all-out pummeling, I guess. We'll see. And nope, not going to happen. He's going to fire off an HP fire. Okay, so if I see this team again, I know it's HP fire. So not Volt switching. I really thought he would go Lando. But not Volt switching on the Greninja was uh, proved to be a big problem. Uh, I could have probably switched, still switched into his Lando. So that was, yeah, yeah that was probably a really bad play. So uh, lesson learned right there. Always Volt switch <laughs> if they're locked into Dark Pulse. Because they're just going to go for the flinch anyway, so... Yeah, <laughs> about that. Uh, I mean, the sticky webs did end up helping in the endgame, sort of. Not really, because Gren was locked into Water Shuriken anyway, so... So you got to scout for which kind of Gren you're up against as well with this team. Which is a little bit of an issue. Uh, because you can't really switch into anything. Alright, no ground type. First thing that I noticed. No ground type, free volt switches all day. Let's lead off with Galvantula. If he leads off with uh, Zerka Tree, I may just go for the Bug Buzz, even though he has a Heat Ren, because I can switch into Heat Ren decently well. Uh, decently. Well, not very well. <laughs> uh, Buzzwool is his lead. Okay, cool. Um, I think... Do I want to get up webs against this team? No, because his team isn't ridiculously fast, so I'm just going to go go get off the Volt Switch, going to get off 46%. And uh, I really feel like an Ice Punch is coming my way so I'm really tempted to go into Greninja right here uh yeah I'm gonna go Gren 
as he's going to go for an earthquake. Okay, so I could have switched into Lando there, but it's fine. I'm going to go for a U-turn here, expecting him to switch out on my Greninja. Because nobody really wants to keep in their buzzwall. Yep, yeah, there's the Finny. Beautiful. So we are going to get off this U-turn right here. And I'm going to go straight into... Yeah, he has no good counterplays to Kartana. So I'm going to go straight into it. Uh, we do see the leftovers. And we are going to go for the Swords Dance right here. I expect him to switch out into Buzzwool. And I th I'm pretty sure a plus two Smart Strike can knock it out. Especially if it's offensive. Oh, he's Scarfed. Oh, good. All right. Well then. <laughs> that's uh, that's good news. Let's go into Landorus. Let's go for the Stealth... Uh, the, uh, the Stealth Roth? Uh, no. The Swords Dance. My bad, guys. I'm stumbling over my words. Uh, in comes the Finny. That is fine. I'm going for Stealth Rocks as he decides to go for the Skull. Does he get the burn? No. Okay. So we're going to go for the Earthquake right here. And we are going to deal some massive damage to this thing, which is fantastic. And uh, I'm pretty sure Gren can clean now. But I do need damage off on the Bulu for that to happen. So let's go into Thunderous. Let's pressure this thing out. Because like I said, he doesn't have a single um, electric resist. Well, he has electric resist, but he doesn't have uh, ground type. He has no immunities, so that's good for us. If he goes into Heat Ren, I'll probably just superpower. He should go Greninja, in theory. Um, <clears throat> my Metacham can clean up as well. But I need those... Uh, I need those webs up, because he has a Scarf Buzzwool. I should have probably figured that out. By the way, he just superpowered or whatever he did turn one earthquake all right so he brings in his buzzwell i'm pretty convinced that as ice punch there's not much that i can do about that though so um i really wanted to keep this thing but i don't think i can yeah i'm just gonna t-bolt he's just gonna ice punch it's actually not gonna knock me out that's surprising because buzzwell has a huge attack stat and uh greninja should come in here yeah there we go <clears throat> okay, so we click on we click Thunderbolt no matter what and the good news is that Even if he tries to switch out on Gal Galvantula I, I Get a switch into something that immediately threatens him if he goes Bulu I go into Metacham if he goes uh, Heat ran I can go into Greninja if he goes Zerka tree I can go into Metacham as well So just Volt switch he does go for the water shuriken. This shouldn't knock me out. There we go and Gren is down beautiful and now we can easily go into... I'm actually going to go into Greninja first, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go Greninja first. Just because I want to chip away at the uh, Bulu before I bring in my Metacham. And the way I'm going to do that is by U-turning. Unless this thing is Scarfed as well. The way I'm going to do that is by U-turning into uh, Galvantula so that he gets the least amount of recovery back from Horn Leech. And now he's locked in a Horn Leech, which would still kill Metacham, don't get me wrong. But the thing is, now I can go for a Specs Hydro Pump right here. And it does connect, which is awesome. He's not going to get too much recovery back from this Horn Leech. Actually, I think he ends up higher than he was. Alright, well, we need to freeze him. Either that or this might just kill. We'll see. We'll go for the Ice Punch. If this does kill or freezes or crits, then awesome. Uh, we win, I think. We do get the crit, that is a knocked out Bulu, and I think that's the game as long as we connect our two high jump kicks. And I will go for high jump kick twice rather than uh, Zen Headbutt once on the Zerka Tree. Uh, as he does go Zerka Tree, we will go for the high jump kick right here. Hopefully we connect. Let's see. I know Ice Punch wouldn't kill this thing, but high jump kick is going to. Yeah. Now I just need to land one more. Let's get it. Can we get lucky once again this game? We do. Awesome. So that is GG. Uh, I'm not going to say GG but the, because that was quite lucky. I don't know if my opponent considers that a good game. Mm. Yo, all I see is Metacham fodder. He has Blissey and Chansey. Like, are you trying to lose to Metacham, my friend? Are you trying? Really? Um, I think Landorus is the lead. No matter what. Uh, Tauros kind of surprises me like he's got three normal types a steel type like Yeah, you're not you're not doing great against this thing. Uh, I Think just get up the rocks immediately as he goes for ice beam. I figured as much. I thought he would be that all right It's fine. I can go to Metacham pick up a kill 
right now. Something drops, except for Tangrowth, potentially. He does go Tangrowth. Is it physically defensive? If so, it still doesn't take this very well. Uh, yeah, and it is Rocky Helmet, confirmed. So, what I'm going to do now is just go for the Ice Punch, knock him out. And uh, now he just has fodder. Fodder for Metacham, man. That's all this is. All right, he goes into this. I don't have a great counterplay to this. Uh, I'm going to go into Thunderous, as he'll probably go for Rock Climb. No, he goes for Fire Blast. Okay, so he's this set. So he probably has Ice Beam on this, too. Uh, superpower, right here. As he chooses to go into Blissey, well, this is dead. Goodbye. <laughs> I didn't even see the animation of it dropping. That was too nice. Uh, yeah, he also does not have a very good team against this. Uh, this is easy Thunderbolt right here, as uh, knocks out the Tauros from where it was at. And uh, if he goes Chansey, I'm probably going to keep this. If he goes this, I'm probably also going to keep this. Uh, and I'm just going to go Kartana. Even if he high jump kicks, I don't care. That's fine. Uh, as he does go for the high jump kick. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I'm going to go into Greninja here. And I'm just going to go for the Hydro Pump because... Okay, all right, well, we miss. Uh, he does land another high jump kick. That's fine. I can go into Thunderous now. And uh, T-Bolt blows this thing back. As he does switch out into his Chansey. I'm going to go for the knockoff now. And uh, I just need to get up my webs. As he goes for a Protect. Not sure why. Uh, just going to go... I could have switched into Metacham there. I'm going to go for the knockoff, get rid of his uh, Eevee Light. And uh, he's probably going to Seismic Toss. No, he goes for Soft World. Okay. Um, did I go Galvantula? Yeah, I'm going to keep this thing around. Because it still does well against the other two. And uh, he's going to go for a Toxic. Sweet. I'm glad I kept it around. Alright, let's go for Sticky Webs. Let's see if he brings in his Metacham immediately. No, he does not. He goes for Seismic Toss. That is fine. I'm going to go hard into Metacham in case he goes into his Skarmory. Uh, as no, he just goes for another Seismic Toss. And I'm actually going to go for Substitute here on his Protect. He does not go for Protect. He goes for Seismic Toss again. Alright, we're going to High Jump Kick. Now he Protects. Good play. Good play. I got to give it to him. All right, we need to crit superpower. That was nice. <laughs> Predicting me to go for, uh, yeah. No, we do not crit superpower, unfortunately. And I think that is going to be the game. Unless I can crit a bunch of volt switches, which I don't think I will be able to. <laughs> Let's see. Do we crit it on this? Uh, nope, we do not. And that is GG. So I'm just going to forfeit. So that was unfortunate. He did read the, uh, the no high jump kick play on the first turn. Good stuff. I probably should have clicked Zen Headbutt, Zen Headbutt again on the second turn, but uh, I didn't have the guts. I mean, it would have put it in range of superpower anyway, so that was probably the correct play. So take that as a lesson, guys. Uh, he's got a slow bro, so good answer to Metacham. Not a great answer to Greninja, Kartana, Thunderous, and Galvantula, but a good answer to Metacham. Um, <laughs> let's lead off here with uh, Lando. Lando is fine. He might just lead off with Slowbro, but Galvantula is such an obvious lead. When you see one, you're just like, okay, well, that's going to lead and get up webs. He does have a Defogger. i got to keep that in mind. A Defogger, granted, that cannot switch into High Jump Kick. So, he does lead off with his own Lando. That is fine by me. I am going to go straight for the Rocks. As he does go for the U-Turn. Showing that he's probably Scarfed because I'm actually max speed. So, unless he is also max speed but Jolly, um, that, no. Okay, he goes into his Heat Ran. I'm going to go for the Swords Dance here. I know I see his balloon. Don't worry, guys. He's going to get up his own rocks, and I'm going to go for the Continental Crush. Uh, I could go for another Swords Dance in theory, but I don't think he's going to allow me to. He actually does, and he goes into Kartana. Wow. All right. Um, I mean, I'm just going to go for the Earthquake here. I could Swords Dance again, predicting his Lando, but I don't want to. I just want to knock this thing out because it's a big threat, especially if it was Scarfed. And I think his own Lando is going to come in now. Either that or his Heat Ren. But I wouldn't advise Heat Ren coming in. He goes Scizor. That's a good play as well. Um, Greninja's a valid switch in here. I kind of want to keep this thing, just in case he defogs. And I know he's going to Bullet Punch here. He's not going to risk anything. So, yeah, I'm going to go Gren. Let's see what he does. He probably does just bullet punch. Yep. Okay. And now, probably fearing the HP fire, he'll go into Chansey, so I'm going to U-turn out. And this is where I get in my Metacham. Now, remember, his Slowbro can keep coming in, but 
is Slowbro, as soon as he gets a kill, it's it's over for that thing. He actually chooses to go for Bullet Punch again. Wow. Okay, ballsy. Um, gonna go Thunderous. And I really want to go for Knock Off right here. But I think T-Bolt is just relatively safe. Yeah, he goes Chansey. That's fine. I'm gonna go for Knock Off now and get rid of this thing's item. As uh, his play should be either Toxic or Soft Boiled right here. Well, let's see what he does. He goes for the Seismic Toss. Fantastic. Now, he should read Super Power, and he should switch into his Slowbro. But I'm not going to overpredict. Because as long as this chance he stays low, we're good to go. Beautiful. All right, so that's dealt with. Scizor probably comes back in. I'm just going to click an attack on Scizor. Uh, I don't care about anything else. Uh, his Lando actually comes... Okay, so that pretty much confirms to me that it is Scarfed. And we will probably go for a U-turn right here. Uh, I can't really stop that. And how much is his scissor at? I can't see. Great. I'm just gonna HP Ice. He's definitely going for, uh, for a Scarf U-turn here. Without question. I can't keep my Thunderous alive anyway, so there's no point in switching it out. That's the great thing about offense. You never need to worry about switching out if your Mons are gonna die to rocks anyway. Uh, I can easily go Kartana here. Very easily. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Straight Kartana. And straight Swords Dance. Knockoff's not going to do anything. Because I don't have an item that you can knock off. So, that is a dead something. I'm just going to Leaf Blade here. And I think he loses at this point. I'm pretty convinced that he loses. I'm going to go for Leaf Blade. That is going to knock out the Slowbro. I'm going to get the, the plus attack. And uh, even if he goes into Lando, he has to click Earthquake. And that means that my Lando comes in and also gets to click Earthquake or Stone Edge. And I think it's going to be Stone Edge. So I'm going to lower his attack right here as he is going to go for the Earthquake. And I am just going to go straight for the Stone Edge, predicting the uh, Heat Ran to come in. And I'm probably going to Stone Edge again on the following turn to catch his Landorus. As he actually goes straight into Scizor, okay? Um, and I do miss my Stone Edge, unfortunately. But I'm just going to go for an Earthquake here. I'm not even thinking about it. Uh, as he does... Uh, he can spam Earthquake now, but the problem is my Greninja is still alive. And I can just come in and Water Shuriken him. Especially now that I know that he's not a uh, defensive variant. So I can just go into Metacham, click High Jump Kick. Uh, he's going to Bullet Punch. No, he's not going to Bullet Punch. He's going to play off the miss. Okay. Alright, so there goes that. And uh, Lando comes in. And don't forget, I also still have my Scarf Galvancho, which is actually EV to outspeed Scarf Landorus. I could also potentially live this Earthquake here. Yep, I do. And uh, Ice Punch is going to knock out his Lando. And I also live Rocks. So uh, I think I'm going to... Well, no, I'm just going to go for High Jump Kick. Even if he has Protect, it doesn't matter. Yep, there we go. And we knock out the Heat Ren. Fantastic. So that is GG. We are at 28 minutes, guys. I think I'm going to end it off there. We are at uh, 1693 on the ladder. So a little bit higher than we were. Um, a lot higher than we were before we started. I don't even know if I was top 500. Uh, 1693 places me at 240. So not too bad. We can definitely do better, though. Uh, like I said, it's a very rough team. If you guys want to use it, try it out on the ladder. Be my guest. It's in the description. There's a pace bin right there. So go and check it out. If you guys did enjoy the episode, make sure to leave a like down below for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.